Colby, how you going? Colby, a thoroughhead bison. What a great day it is. Update on my nephew. Uh, he's doing a lot better. He, he had, uh, well, if I had somebody over there to swing the gate shut, we'd be good to go. Uh, anyways, he, uh, he had surgery this past Saturday. It's uh, Tuesday evening right now. And uh, he, uh, he had to get two rods put in his back from T4 to T9. But uh, he's going to be able to make a full recovery. He'll most likely have those rods in, you know, the rest of his life. But it's not really going to limit what he's going to be able to do. So uh, a lot of answered prayers. Very thankful for that. And uh, I got to go fix something over here or they're going to be able to push this panel out because she just swung a gate shut that she wasn't supposed to swing shut. They're worked up. I got them caught in the pen. Uh, they are, uh, they're heading to the, to get harvested tomorrow. So let me get this shut and I don't think I can do it with the phone. Well, sorry I uh, left so soon yesterday. I had, uh, didn't even film the rest of it. Those three loaded um, is about as easy of a, as a load as I've ever had. So as easy of a load as I've ever had. There we go. So, uh, Right now, I, uh, I took them, obviously, to get harvested this morning, and uh, and now just got back to the ranch and uh, uh, doing some work on uh, my trailer, not my livestock trailer, my, my work trailer for my day job for Highline. Going to do some work on that and hopefully get it going. Uh, but yeah, first I am going to let the bison into the west part of the south 40 so um not exactly set up to where i want to really uh intensely rotationally graze yet i've got a lot of work to do and not a whole lot of time but um i've got to i've got to do get some of that uh, high line stuff done that's kind of priority right now um they're uh well as you all know i'm about to have to get off this fence because tex he ain't a uh, the happiest thing around so here we go but uh i mean he's happy but uh he's a punk when you get close to him so um yep they're looking good all this they're chasing green grass so they're putting on some weight finally um they lose they lose weight in the winter time just like bison do so anyways uh yeah so let me flip this around here also, this is another product of uh, Tex. He likes to, he uh, apparently really, really wanted to get this gate open and he tried hard, but uh, yeah, look how much he bowed those gates. Bent them all up, little punk. But uh, that's all right. Look at all this fresh stuff. So I'm gonna let the bison in. And uh, I'll let them start eating all this fresh stuff over here. We got all that fresh hairy vetch over there. I'm gonna leave them on this for at least a week, uh, maybe two. I'm just gonna see how they're eating that hairy vetch down. But I'm, I'm hoping, my goal is to get um, a uh, maybe a second growth out of that hairy vetch. If I let them eat on it for a week or two, get them off of it, uh, maybe let it come back a little bit. We have a very concerned citizen over here. Something is just chirping away. There it is. Man, I wonder if she's got some eggs over there or something. Come on, y'all! Yeah! Here they come. Little Billy boy. And CC. CC is at the bottom of the totem pole. I think I've said that a hundred times, but she's one of the first ones to get anywhere. So, we'll let him in.
I almost got concerned I had a gate open on the off the road but I walked over here I didn't come through a gate so that's good all right I'll go get that fresh green grass the buffet is open Luna, what are you doing? Luna, Luna. Goodness gracious, Luna. Come on, girl. Oh my. Sometimes it's a little bit of a encouragement for some of them. She's always been real flighty. She's just running down that whole fence line. Luna! So she ran clear down almost to the whole other part of uh, this fence line. And then her, her calf bolted all the way across. Let me flip it. Her calf, who's about to be a yearling now, he done run across. just to hop the fence. So. Man, they're funny. No red dogs yet. Uh, my buddy, Dusty, he's had two, he's had two red dogs so far. Um, some other friends of ours uh, from Middle Earth Farms, they've, uh, they are hyped up. Look at them. They are so happy to be on New Pasture. Wow. That's awesome good for them. Uh, anyways. Bruno, he was that uh, longhorn bull that got that was born last year. Um, now these are these are my father-in-law's uh, and brother-in-law's longhorns, but uh, we still help take care of them. Well, looky here. If y'all remember, I caught Bruno's birth uh, on camera. I walked out today and saw this little sucker. So, <laughs> oh man, awesome, awesome longhorn calf. So, look at that. Proud mom, mama and daddy. And now they got two. Welcome to the family, little dude. I think it's a little bull again. They're a family of four.
We just get done doing, girls. What I have to do? What I have to do? Uh, you start shooting number nine with a uh, dart. Dart gun. Yep. So came out here yesterday. Move seventy six. Um, the video I just showed was one of the one of the Addington cows was limping pretty bad, and uh, so my first game plan is um, I gave her Draxon so that if her hoof got infected or something, then she'll um, have the proper antibiotics for it. And then when I come out here. Friday, if she's not any better, then I know that it will be something else. Because that Draxon um, should cure hoof infections in like three days. So, um, beautiful, beautiful evening. We had some good rain this morning while I was out down in Ardmore and Tishomingo working, but. There she is, number nine. I think I called her Addington number two. But she, uh, it was a successful shot right in the neck. And, uh, yeah, pretty happy with how it went. If I had a third hand, <laughs> I would have filmed it. But, yeah, you can see that limp on her. So, hopefully that'll, I can tell it's a little swollen, so hopefully that's just a little infection, that'll go away, and she'll be good. If not, we'll have to form a new plan. I'll get with the other vet, and we'll figure it out. But everyone else is doing good. They're starting to molt, which is really good. That means they're healthy. The grass is coming on strong, and they're loving it. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, good times, good times. They aren't eating the hairy vetch as much as I thought they would, uh, as much as I'd like them to, but then again, I'm not forcing them to. I know that if I probably, uh, restricted their fencing, you know, like whenever we start really intensively rotating, they would be forced to eat it and they would eat it, but it's okay. It, Whatever they don't eat will still be really good for the ground, so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.